Hey, this is David Basin Calls, and I just wanted to quickly go over the Aleutian Cackler call and how to get started with that. Okay, this little call is pretty basic, pretty easy to use. Cacklers don't have too huge of a vocabulary, so I'll start with how to hold it. You want to have your index finger, your pointer finger, covering about a quarter of the hole. Then your other fingers just lightly fold over. Don't squeeze it tight, just lightly fold it over. Take this other hand, cup it like you're holding a softball, and take your thumb and rest it between the index finger and the middle finger of this other hand. So basically you got something that looks about like that. This little call likes to be cupped up. It likes a lot of back pressure, otherwise it gets really loud and really hard to blow. What you're going to do, there's two different ways to approach this. The first one we'll call floating tongue. In other words, your tongue isn't going to be attached anywhere. And you're going to, basically your lips are going to be up here on the bevels of the call. You're putting the call in your mouth. Don't, don't blow it like a duck call with your lips inside the hole. You want your lips up on the bevel, in your mouth, and you're going to say, what? W-H-A-T. What? 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 Kind of like blowing a spit wad out of a straw. Now for a higher note, you can lift the middle finger of this hand while it's inside the cup, lift it till it touches the palm of the cup, and say whit, W-H-I-T, whit, 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 is a low word with your middle finger down, what, whit is the higher one with your middle finger up. Now you drag that whoa part of the what out, and you get the beginning of the honk. What? 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 And I'm just changing the notes by going up and down with my middle finger inside, and saying either what or whit into the call. Now, some guys find it easier if they anchor the tip of their tongue behind their bottom front teeth. Like that. And say what or what with their tongue anchored. What, 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 what. What, what, what. Now, to make the little begging sound of a cackler, you're just going to say ta, ta. But when you say ta, you're going to open all the fingers but the pointer finger, not it, but the rest of your fingers of your hand, you're just going to kind of open up. Ta. Ta, ta. Now you're just going to kind of add that in with the what's and wits. Now, you can even make a higher cluck yet, but this one takes a little practice. Instead of popping your middle finger up, you're actually going to pop your pointer finger. You can't pop it up too high or it'll get distorted, but it will make an even sharper, shriller chirp. So now you're up to three notes. What? Whit, and then pop in the pointer finger, whit. And that's basically the sounds, the majority of the sounds cacklers make. The thing is to remember is go easy on them, because they're getting overcalled quite a bit. You don't want to do a lot of machine gun clucks, because you'll kind of freak them out. 
they just basic finesse chirping type stuff with cacklers works really well. little short, very short series of, of clucks in a row. Whit, 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 whit. <laughs> but make it a short series. A lot of guys have, have really worn the birds out doing these, what they call machine gun clucks. <laughs> and cacklers have gotten pretty wise to that now. So if you're going to do any series of clucks in a row, make them just short. Now, if you, if you need to make some noise, you can put together a lot of what's and wits and, and taws and stuff and make the noise of quite a few birds if you need to try to, to move a distant flock toward you or something. you go. Just remember to make that, that drawn out beginning of the honk. You'll, you'll just go ta ta whit ta whit And there you have it.